Hi everyone and welcome back to the Adobe Spark tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to add and edit text. So to get started you're going to click on the plus symbol add here and choose text. Now you have two options. You can either click add your text to start from scratch and you'll have this box that pops up and this is where you're going to type. So I'm just going to start with my name. If you'd like to do two lines, so let's say I'd like to do my name underneath it, you can do that as well. When you're done, you're just going to press done. And here is your text. So you can choose your fonts here. And you have lots of really great options. And if you notice, it has it's white and then it has a teal background. So you can either take that off by going to this shape area. You can either change the shape. You have lots of options. You can put a circle behind it with this white border. You can do a banner style. You can do quotes. Lots of other really cool designs. But for now, I'm just going to take it off. So I'm going to click this check mark. And to change the font color, I'm going to click this button. And you can use the slider down here to change the color to whatever you want. Or you can save some of these for later. So once you use a color, it normally will be added up here. So you can see under suggested, now it saves it there. So if I ever want to go back, let's say I change it, and then I decide, mm, I think I want the blue again, you should be able to go back. Now if you'd like to change the alignment, you can align it to the left, the center, but I'm going to keep it in the center. You can change the opacity, meaning making it more opaque, meaning darker, or more see-through. If you'd like, you can also add a shadow. I'm going to resize this really quickly. So if you click on any of these white circles on the corners, you can resize it. And if you see these purple lines, that's just your guideline to see that it's centered. And I'm going to click Shadow. And you can change the angle of it. We can't see it right now because it's white, so I'm going to ch click this white second color right here that's behind it. I'm going to choose another color to go behind it, like that. And you can change the angle of it, so right now it's a little bit more behind, or I can go this way, and now it's to the left. Here it's centered, and to the right. Normally when you do a shadow, you want it either slightly to the left, or the right. So I'm going to do it like this. And you can also change the size of it. So right now it's really close to the letter, and here it's really far away. So it's not actually changing the size, it's changing the distance behind it. You can also add an outline, so I'm going to unclick shadow so you can see this better. You can add an outline here and you can make it thicker so that it covers the whole thing. You can make it thinner. So I can do stuff like this. Like that. Now if you'd like to, you can also click on your text and just find a new style. This is a fun way to just try out new things if you're not sure what you want. Sometimes it's fun to click through here. If you ever click too quickly and you realize, oop, I wanted to use the one before it, you can click the undo button here and it will take you back. Now, um, I want to show you how you can add a text template. So I'm going to move this up. And once I'm here, if I want that sidebar on the right to come back, I can just click anywhere on here and I have my options here again. So I'm going to go back to the plus sign add and text 
And then I can use any of these templates as long as it doesn't have the yellow bookmark here. Those are for the premium um, accounts. So I can choose something here that I might like. Let's say I like this one. And then I can double click on it. So click twice on either your mouse or on your trackpad and I can type in something here. Like so. And that's how you change text.